I'm part of this team that uh, assembled this largest ever human family tree, uh, which included about 3,600 individuals from all over the world. Um, and we were able to sort of piece this together into this massive network of, of links between people, genetic links using their DNA. One of the most interesting results that came of this work was insight into where and when human ancestors live. It's immediately apparent um, that uh, human genetic diversity is highest in Africa, as was previously known, and that comes with signals of the Out of Africa event, and also that there's a um, great depth of lineages in Oceania, which is indicative of complex interactions between the ancestors of people that lived in that part of the world and archaic humans like Denisovans, which we, we know of now from sampling in Siberia. The exact way it works um, is that we, we sort of try and have a guess at what the genetic ancestors of different sets of people look like in terms of their DNA sequence at different points in, in the past. And then once we've had a guess at what those genomic sequences look like, the DNA sequences, then we can map the sort of sequences that we know about today onto each of those sort of ancient ancestors. And we do that at different places in the genome. And this is really key. The key thing is that you might have a single tree that says I'm related to someone else in this particular way at one point in the genome, but you move just a little bit further along the DNA sequence and the tree looks a bit different. And you move a little bit further along and it looks different again. And so you build up this, this whole set of different trees along the DNA sequence. So this, this huge structure, this huge family tree that we've generated, these links between people, um, tell us a lot. They tell us that the process by which our DNA was generated. And if we know that, then we can start incorporating it into our understanding of what the DNA actually does. So for example, if uh, you want to know why some people um, have some sorts of medical conditions, are more predisposed to heart attacks, or for example, for coronavirus, are more susceptible to coronavirus, then there's a, there's a huge amount of that is, is sort of described by their ancestry because they've inherited their DNA from other people. But it also tells us about like, where people came from. It tells us migration routes around the world, how big populations were in different places, where different you know, whole sort of segments of the human race essentially come from. I think that's really fundamentally interesting.